I have a 3D printer with filament stuck inside the extruder. I need to get it out. And I'm going to show you what I did on this episode of Tech Talk. Hey guys, Naisha here. You know, just an average girl. And today we have a problem. I have an Ender 3 V3 SE. And I was in the process of printing another Zoro figure with a blue energy dragon. The print was coming out fantastic till I woke up to nothing. And somehow the filament got entangled within the spool. I don't know how, but if I'm going to get back to printing, I need to get this piece out. This has happened before where filament got stuck inside the extruder and I had to open it up. So if you have an SE and this happens to you, this video will show you what I did to get it out. First things first, we're going to open it up. These are 2.0 hexagon screws and I like to place them on the table based on the layout of the casing so I know where what screw goes where. The casing is attached to a fan so all I'm doing is moving it to the side. It's obvious my heat sink is dirty since the cover got damaged. I will buy a new one and in the meantime clean this up a bit. The joy of the SE is that it uses a sprite extruder, which I've messed with in the past when I had an Ender 3v2. So we're going to remove it and the CR touch from the bracket. Now, I'm going to gently pull upward and see if I can feed the filament through the extruder. As you can see, the gears are working, so I should be able to pull the filament through with ease. Okay, the fact that I was able to get the filament out of the extruder means that wasn't the real problem. Turns out the filament is actually stuck in the heat sink, hopefully not where the cooling part is. So this is a new problem for me. I've never had this happen before. So in this video, we are going to actually fix this. The only thing I can think of is to turn on the printer and preheat the heat sink and see what will happen. Okay, this is what I want to see. I used the preheated setting for the PLA, and as you can see, the filament is going through the needle. So there's a chance that maybe I can feed the filament through. Then I'm going to use the wand that came with the printer to push any remnants through. Even better! So now I'm going to turn the temperature up to 240. On Creality's YouTube channel, there's actually a video that shows you how to clean after each print.
and so you have to turn the temperature up to 240, then use the wand to push out any excess filament. Yep, see, look at this. I'm going to be doing this several times until there's nothing left. Just give me a moment. There. We cleaned as much as we could, so all that's left is to clean it up and put it back together. And now we get to test it out and see how it runs. As you can see, I like to keep my printer in a protective cover to avoid fluctuating temperatures and bad prints. Believe me, this covering has been a big help. And there you have it guys, it's back to normal. When it comes to silk printing, I like to slow the speed down so it has a smoother, almost seamless print. Thank you so much for watching. If this helped, give this video a thumbs up so more people can see this. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. I always appreciate it as it helps my channel out. If you haven't seen my video where I'm learning how to airbrush my 3D prints, may I suggest you check out my Zorro Bust video.